Welcome to Mocha Mama Cafe. I am Mocha Mama and you are the cafe. I want to thank you for tuning in today to our daily sip of inspiration. Inspiration, motivation, preparation, revelation, and wisdom to get you through your day. And being reminded that hope is the great caffeine of life. So thank you for tuning in to our mini podcast, our daily sip of inspiration. And today we will be continuing our little mini series of grace. We've talked about grace for the past couple of days and we will continue to do so today. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Make sure you grab your cup of coffee or tea and join us as we read our October 7th, 2020 edition of Mocha Mama Cafe. Grace received, grace given. There is a story in the Bible, Matthew 18, 21 through 35, about a man who owed a lot of money. He was brought before the king for his debt. He owed, in modern times, it's estimated to be over three billion dollars. He basically begged the king for mercy and was forgiven the debt. Here is an example of extreme grace to be forgiven such a large, humongous amount. There was no way he would have ever been able to repay this debt. When he was released, he came across someone that owed him money. Yet the amount of money that he was owed was nothing compared to that which he had been forgiven. However, he did not extend grace to that person, though they begged as well. He had them thrown into debtor's prison for about 46 U.S. dollars. Though this first man was forgiven his gigantic debt, he did not extend the same grace he had received. When the king found out about this, he had him brought back before him, and the king asked him why he did not show the same type of compassion he had received, especially since his own debt had been so much greater. He, in the end, wound up being held responsible responsible for that first initial debt, a debt that he could never pay. If he worked for several lifetimes, he never would have been able to pay that debt. All he had to do was forgive someone else, extend that which he had been given. If he had received his extension of grace from and in a place of humility, appreciation, and gratitude of being forgiven such a huge debt, then two men would be free. Now, instead, both were locked up and their families horribly devastated. When this first man was brought before the king, the first time he did not get what he deserved, defined as mercy, and was not sent to debtor's prison. In addition, he received something, grace. He should not have received through pardon and forgiveness. Later on, he forfeited both of these gifts by not showing compassion on someone else in his same circumstance. One thing especially important to remember here is that grace is undeserved. Undeserved. Have you ever received compassion when you didn't deserve it? Have you ever given it to someone who didn't deserve it? I'm not talking about someone not being held accountable for their actions, especially if the law is involved. 
But when all is said and done, we have to look at our own selves in the mirror. If we see anger, bitterness, or resentment looking back, then we need to let go and forgive our own for our own well-being. At this point, even experiencing all these negative emotions and being justified doesn't matter. Purpose and destiny are at stake. This can keep us from reaching our total freedom. Who wants to make it to the finish line full of regret or stand there dripping in sweat and anger as justifiable as it may be? We have to let go for ourselves, for our family, for our children, for our legacy so we can truly move forward. This daily sip has turned into a large mug of bitter black coffee with no cream, no sugar, no sweetener or flavors because sometimes that's how life is. The bitter or hurt sometimes mixes with the sweet compassion and then becomes palpable. If you can add compassion to your own life, to and for yourself, you are well on your way to being and living free, inspired, purposed, and ready. Thank you for tuning in to our October 7th, 2020 edition of Mocha Mama Cafe. You can reach us at mochamamacafe.com. Mama is spelled M-O-M-M-A. Stop by our Cappuccino Corner or our Barista Blog. We're also on Instagram and Twitter at Mocha Mama Cafe. Thank you again for tuning in and you be blessed.